I grabbed my pack last night when we made camp and pulled it out and the whole bottom end of my pack was soaking wet. All my gear was wet. Opened the door, opened the pack, just everything just drenched. Just everything drenched. Pulled the bladder out and I got a pretty good sized hole. I think I'm gonna fill it with water bottles and take them. Which sucks. <laughs> the dueling cows, here they come. I've done a fair number of over-the-counter elk hunts in Colorado with no success. There's uh, a, di a lot of different things that can happen. The elk numbers can vary, uh, people can vary. I was optimistic since I was going with trail and we've had some decent luck with each other. I had never scouted this area. You know, anytime you pull up to a trailhead and you throw your pack on, you head down the trail, I think you have in your mind what it's gonna be like and it's never quite, you know, exactly what you think it's gonna be. About four o'clock, it was a dark set or something. Yeah. Three hours to work that ridge and see if we can get an elk to bugle. Get a feel for what we're in here, new country. Just gotta find one, huh? Just gotta find one. <laughs> gotta dig one out of here. When we hiked in and we saw those elk, it was a huge relief. You're six miles deep, and it just gives you a better feeling about the hunt when you see elk on the first day like that. I think tomorrow, on that ridge, there's a decent chance we'll see what's in this canyon. You know, it'll be either be bugling the ham across or on this side. I love this big north facing slope. Yeah. That's there. I'll just get the late start. I hope so. You know, I've never really had that many hunting partners, so my pretty much my adult life I've hunted alone. You know, Neville and I just get along really well. You know, somebody that's just willing to go wherever I want to go without complaint. And, uh, you know, somebody that doesn't take themselves too seriously. So far this morning, they've been pretty quiet. We're gonna try to check out this wall that we found. The first day, when we were across the canyon, we saw some bulls using. Go check that out, see what it's like. Hopefully they start bugling here pretty soon. That's why he's pushing cows that way. There's 
look like there's like five or six of them. Drilled him. Because <laughs> <Well, laughs> I was, I was, I was like, dude, I'm not gonna get a shot. Full draw, full draw, branches, branches. Uh, I saw I had one last hole. He's coming through. I said, the only way I'm gonna do this, I have to get on my knee. I saw. You look like Robin Hood. And slice it up through there. <laughs> Stop by the tree. Thank God for this tree or else we really have to be rolling downhill. Look at that. Oh yeah, thank heavens for that tree, huh? <laughs> the old on my knee sniper shot from down low. It's about 1.30. Shot my elk at about 9 o'clock, got it all cut up. Getting ready for the, the hard hike. The meat the meat hike. See if it's suck fast. It's suck fast. We're gonna leave all of our camp here because we got about six more days left of this hunt. See if we can't get into a butcher maybe and come on, come back out and be here tomorrow afternoon. Hunt for another five days or so. Just dropped off my elk at the butcher. Now we're going back out again. We're going back up to the same spot, so it should be good. We got plenty of time, hopefully the elk are bugling more. Three hour hike in. Loaded our packs from all the stuff that we left. Everything was still here. No bears. Didn't rain on it. Didn't rain. I think with what daylight we have left tonight, we're just gonna set that wallow. And it's been hot. Cause you know I like setting wallows. Oh buddy boy, do I have. <laughs> <laughs> It's dead calm tonight. Oh man. I can't believe there's no bulls people on.
that you could bite through that. Yeah. Try that. I don't know, that's a lot. It's like paper. How <laughs> <laughs> was it? Look at that. I'm like an elk. It's pretty awesome. How'd it taste? Not too bad. That's a mistake that, you know, somebody has hunted elk as long as I have should have made. Um, and I felt dumb. I just need one to screw up and be dumb enough to walk into us. Yeah, they haven't been liking our calls so far. <laughs> Is that bad. me or you? <laughs> that mean we're bad calling? <laughs> I don't know. Why? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm always hopeful that something's gonna happen. And that's the thing about elk hunting, especially archery elk hunting. Um, you know, it can be really hard, really challenging, but it can all come together just in a matter of seconds. You know, you just have the right bull on the right day and he decides to commit and come in. Uh, it, can, it can seem, you know, hopeless and, you know, it can happen just in a matter of seconds. And I've had that happen so many times that I was still pretty optimistic that it could happen. 
not too many bugles. Saw a mountain lion. Saw a mountain lion. <laughs> and a good sunset. That's pretty. It is pretty. I mean, if, if you glass up a mountain lion, is that a good sign? I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> That's a bad sign. It's an omen. Uh, I hope not. First, I wasn't that alarmed. You figure, figure your average campfire's not putting out that much smoke. I guess we're all just a little nervous, on edge, maybe. Not for sure what's gonna happen with this little burn spot going on. Wind kind of picked up that much more. I don't like this wind either. Kind of the wind's what, wind and heat's what bugs you. And that plume of smoke went from being you know, a plume to a, a pretty good column. And we started to see entire trees that were, were popping. Yeah, I think we want to stay this way of it, head towards the truck. I don't think we want to be anywhere near it. You know, you make a collective decision, you know, is it worth elk hunting and trying to stick it out for a few more days in that area? Or is it better to make the safe call and, and clear country? Um, which, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer. You make the safe call. You know, that's, that's just the way it goes. I mean, living in the West, especially in the last few years, that's just a part of elk hunting the West anymore in the fall with the way things have been. So, you know, you, you make the right call and you hike out and live to elk hunt next year, right? Thank you.